Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with my boy Trio Talk, no Bill Talk. What up, baby? What's going on? Damn, my nigga, your demeanor got real. These cameras come on, they really affect niggas, man. Be honest you told me to you, calm really down while I go start niggas, calm, you know what I'm so saying? Calm down it for you. really real affects you. Me, on it. There's a lot of cameras down? in this thing, man. Check it, man. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure you guys join our membership, man. Um, thank you guys all that be watching Boss Talk 101. We see the comments. We see the inboxes. Everything that everybody trying to do, we trying to be a part of it if it's on the right structure of integrity. Mm -hmm. Check it, man. Hey, man. Man, we got special guests in here today, man, and they don't need no introduction, man. Delisa J, I've been watching you ever since I've been seeing you pop up on Trio Talk, No Peel Talk. I watched that channel. Welcome to Boss Talk 101. Thank you for having me here. Oh, man. And y'all 300, is that what it is? What's the word, man? You know man, what's, what's going on, man? What's the deal? You see how I can't, you see what I got on, huh? Oh, you okay. There, well, man, you know, man. really, niggas say hustler, yeah. but it's a lot of different ways to hustle. So we're going to get into mm. your hustling technique. Let's you know what I'm saying? Real quick. Okay, well, what you got? You give me gifts out. Shirt, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Worldwide hustler. Worldwide hustler. Yes, Let me sir. see what we got here, man. This old boy. This old boy done brought the old boy some. You know, I done gained a little weight. I hope that nigga got the right <laughs> size. You know what I'm talking about? Love the shirt, man. What does I'm it say back here? Worldwide hustles. Worldwide hustles. We stand for hustles Meaning in the whole words, world. You don't just know? hustle uh, in East Texas. Nah, we worldwide with it. Okay. I see, see city, what you're saying. State to state, you know what I'm saying? City to city. The earth is your turf. Okay, all right, yeah, that's good. Speak for I sure appreciate it, man. We gonna, oh, yeah. I'm gonna definitely wear this thing, man, and jump out there and uh, represent for you. How about that? I appreciate that. Make sure man. you take a piece of that. For sure, man. <laughs> both of y'all, I think I seen both of y'all was on LD 300's project too. How was that working with LD 300? It was live. I I really appreciate him for throwing that to me for real, cause he didn't have to. He tapped in, you know, just off the strength of me doing what I'm doing. It was really love. Wow. And, and what about you? It was smooth. Um, he knows what he wants. And it's a lot of artists who don't know what they want. So he was able to, hey, this is what I need from you. It was, Just be you. It was two people singing on that song. Mm -hmm. That's what made that song unique to me. Excellent. Who was the other guy that was on there? Uh, Trey Ward. Shout out Trey Ward. Like, And, and it was... It, it, who all rapped on that? Uh, Just Al. Just, Just Al. Al D. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was a dope song, too. Like... Like like I say, I, when I interviewed Aldi, we talked about that on the show. I don't know if you watched it, but your name did come up. You know, I try to show all the love I can for all the artists who really got talent, and I see it sticking out. Like, mm -hmm. how long you been singing? Oh, all my life, all my life since yay high. Since a little bit of mm -hmm. when you were knee in the church, knee high to a grasshopper. Mm -hmm. If you were gonna sing a church song, and, and 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 I was trying to get into the spirit, what song would you sing? Mm. And how would you sing it? Let me think. Ooh, that's a great question. Um, I think I would probably sing. Um, mm. No, don't do it to me. I, I'm yeah, that's to what I thought. Out. That's what I I'm thought. I'm trying to pull it out. No, what I said. What? 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 Why oh. should I feel discouraged? What you got? Oh, why should I feel discouraged? I feel like I'm going to heaven today with this one, boy. You hear me? That's good, man. Like, you always got to have a good song. The word of God said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Like, you got to have you got to have a song that'll take you there to get you out of places where you might not want to be. You know what I mean? Look, and that's Mindset. coming up. Yeah. Break every chain. That's, that's it? That's my song. Really? How does this start out? Um, um, the break every chain, break every chain, man. break every chain. Just... Just let you know. Let take them shackles off. Wow, you don't need them. See, That's I don't dope. Your song. Man, well, I do, man. I definitely do. I, I no, nah, I, I know got a little know. word, man. You know, know what I'm Oh yeah, that's it. You got that one myself. Let's go. Gotta have that one. Yeah. So, man, like, um, so when you when you first knew that you was gonna, uh, cause you you more R and B ish now, right? No, full R and B. Full R and B. Mm -hmm. Like, like what what made you what made you say I'm gonna take it there? Honestly, um, I'm a songwriter first, so I was writing everything from rock to country to pop. Um, I put all the <laughs> the genres in I had, and I pulled it out. Wow! And I've always loved R and B, but when you when you got the gift, you you know you don't want to just do one thing or you think you're not supposed to. Um, but I pulled it out the hat and I put it in my laptop. And I said, "Well, this is what I'm gonna do." Wow! Thank you so much. Hey, let me ask you some trivia talk, like. Like, how do you pick, because I know, you know, I've told you, like, if it's any talent in East Texas, with you being the main, you know, blogger, the main guy that's out there looking at the talent, bring them on Boss Talk, 
we get these two guys starting uh, 2024, but last year you didn't bring a lot of people. Why was that? Why didn't you bring a lot of artists up um, here from East Texas? Is East Texas still got people working? Yeah, they still working. It's like a lot of people not consistent. Like, in these two, like, they was real consistent. Like, last year, George just started rapping last year. Wow. Like, he dropped his first video uh, January 1st last year. And, like, ever since then, like, he just been consistent with it. You know how some people, they're going to take seasons off. Like, they might go for, like, three months, then they stop. Same thing with Delisha. She's been pushing the whole, like, the whole year. She pushed the Monday morning experience. I mean, the Monday morning, uh, the Monday morning experience. Yeah, the Monday morning, the Monday morning experience. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And, uh, like, it pushed it all year long. Like, and the thing about that is it wasn't even a video to it. Like, half the year, it wasn't no videos to it. And it was, like, traveling like that. Wow. Radios and everything. That's hard. Yeah. Like, like last guy you brought on here, mm -hmm. what was his name? Uh, Rosam. No, I wasn't. Yeah, it was Rosam. Uh, Rosam and TK Boy. Hey, how's he doing? Pretty good. You How see TK Boy? She's still doing her thing, too. That's hard. That's hard. Yeah. Well, you think you're going to, are they coming back this year, or? I mean, like, uh, they both doing their own thing. Like I said, um, like, they, they, they. I said, I, don't, I mean, you know, they'll come back up here anytime. You know, that ain't no problem at all. But um, right now, we just focusing on them two right now. Wow. Yeah. Um, so what about, um, like, when you think about, like, like you know, the way the music genre is today, like, it, it, it seemed like there's some time, it, it, to me, the music is there. You get the sexy reds. You get all these different people who really making waves. Yeah. Like, like, like. How do you decipher what's good and what's bad in nowadays times? Like, really, you know? originality, um, originality, and like, uh, just loving the music. Like, a lot of people don't love the music. Like, a lot of people don't even know the music. Like with Delisha J, she listens to all the old music. Like, she she can tell you stuff about music that you probably won't even know. Wow, no that's thing. hard. That's hard. Um, what What do you think about it, man? Uh, you like the music you're seeing out here? Uh, three hundred, y'all three hundred. Uh, yeah, I'm liking the music. I'm liking the music. It's different tastes, you know. Uh, I'm not really into the whole drill and all that killing and stuff. I'm really more into like hustling or talking about making some money or something like that. That's really what I'm into. Really, you like that yeah. money, huh? Yeah, that's yeah. why you got that hustle on that shirt like that. Time I'm on, you feel You're me? trying to get that bread. You feel me? But you got to speak it into existence. Break yeah, every most chain. Definitely, most <laughs> definitely. Tie it back in. Yeah. Tie it back in. Yeah. You got to, man. It's just a it's a thing that a lot of music, like I said mm -hmm. today, it doesn't have the essence for some people. Mm -hmm. You you know, you used to have a chance to rap with the commons, and they was trying yeah. to give people good, you know, things that people do good. Plus, you had the band. I'm cool with all of it. I like yeah, music, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I don't care. It could be country. I could yeah. listen to Darius Rucker or, 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 or Jason Aldean or one of them guys. It don't matter. Uh, Brad Paisley, whoever. As mm -hmm. long as it's good music. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, a lot of times you get lost in the sauce when it comes down to hip hop mm -hmm. because we so gifted. We know how to you know, it's it's a lot of talent when yeah. when it comes to what, what our culture do. You know what I'm saying? So you can get lost in the sauce. You got everybody doing everything, right? Mm -hmm. So you got you might have a, a dude over here that, that rap with auto tune mm -hmm. and hardcore auto tune. Then you got might have somebody like Delise J that, that can just That's rip. another thing too though. Like she don't use auto tune. Neither one of them I, ain't, I don't think I heard neither one of them. But I'm just saying, you know, it's different, yeah. different but that's what th That's what I'm saying. Like I, it was something different to me. Correct. Because there's so many different yeah. ways. I'm not saying nothing wrong with auto tune. Yeah, it's not I'm just all. saying everybody got their twist and turn to this culturistic yeah. way that we do things. You know what I'm saying? So what what made you when 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 you decide to work with somebody, what is the main thing that you look at? Oh, I look at are you serious? Yeah, 100%. Because a lot of people will come to you and be like, hey, I want to work. Hey, I want to do this. Uh, are you sure? ain't ready. Like, it don't seem like you want to. Yeah. Your Instagram ain't showing that, and that's what I can, mm. what the only thing I can view exactly, from. Exactly, yeah. Go to YouTube, ain't no music on there. Um, so that's my first starting point. It's like, okay, are you serious? Because this is, I'm serious. I waited till I had a product to put out before I was like, hey, I really do R&B. Mm -hmm. so I waited. And once I put that project out, it's like, okay, this is me saying I'm serious and I get to work that project. So that's the first thing I look at. Like, are you serious? Is this real? Yeah, what is, what are one of the things that, that like, the songs that, that you feel like if, if, if uh, I don't know, if QC was trying to do a deal with you and they asked you to sit down in front of them or they told you, hey, we want you to audition. Yeah. What is one of your songs, one of the R&B songs that you would sing um, if they really wanted me to sing, like really just hear my voice, I probably sing. Feel no, so they good. It, no, you do whatever but if they you want to do. Hit, no, I'm they're gonna, gonna, gonna say whatever, night. whatever so, you want to do. Yeah, and you feel like that's gonna impress them. What would that be? Um, I'd give them a hit. I'd give them fight night. Or Let I'd me hear a little bit of. Um, Cause I know you like to fight night, drunk on the low end, 
fucking my braids up, fight night, do what we want it. And I'm Come just, I'm, look, I'm trying to keep it chill because I know we got the mic. I don't want to. No, no, no. It's all good. Loud, it's all right? good. I, I definitely know where you're at with it. Um, you know, the thing I say is, man, how do you, how do you, would you sign a deal? Uh, yeah, sign the right deal. Absolutely. You or would? The right I'll deal. I'll sign a deal. I'll sign the right deal, but I'll also sign for opportunity because I know at the end of the day, we just need to get in the door. Wow. If I can get in the door, I'm going to make everything else work. Same question apply to you, mm -hmm. to all 300. Like, would you be willing to sign or do you like the independent route or what is the thing that you would like to do? Mm, if I came across a good deal, you know what I'm saying, I would like to do that, but I'd rather we stay independent just because... I want to be able to do what I want to do, you know. Not really. Oh, uh, and I really, uh, I really want to be in that boss thing. I don't know. It's just, it's just me. I'm just you more be in control. Independent. Yeah, I want to be in control of everything. Like, well, I can put people on. You know what I'm saying to help me out, build a team. But I don't know. I just, if they see me, if they see, if they see a million dollars in me, then I feel like I can make that million dollars. I just got to figure out how to make that million dollars. Wow. Man, you know, uh, you see a lot of people out here, you know, um, doing a lot of different things, man. Yeah. You know, uh, right now, you know, you got a lot of different different people saying a lot of different things. Yeah. You know, when it comes down to music, media, mm -hmm. uh, there's big things happening. Cat Williams just went off and mm -hmm. shut the Internet down. Everybody didn't know you could shut the Internet down in one day. Ain't nobody yeah. really <laughs> been yeah. on that level that he went on. And, and a lot of people don't even say, won't even say, hey, man, mm -hmm. this a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. Niggas saying stuff. You got Kevin Hart, he'll say a little bit here. You got yeah. Faison, he said a little bit. Yeah. You got different people that saying a little bit. But the way this guy attacked the Internet in 2024, do you think anybody will top that this year? Cat Williams. Top what he just did. I'm not talking about Cat Williams, per se. I'm talking about the way the impact was on the Internet when him and Shannon Sharp sat in that seat. Oh, no. You see what I'm saying? Respectfully, so. no. Yeah, you don't, don't think, think so, so this year? He, he, he you think that's the so only I, one I, I that can't be top this year? Williams that we're talking about. It's going to have to take some well, catastrophic. And, 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 and I'm not even just talking about just the artist itself. Like when Dolph like, passed away, he had hit the internet yeah. hard. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not just talking. It could be anything when you talk about impact. He understands entertain. He has a different mindset that's like he gets, he knows how to push your buttons. He knows how to incite you. So it's like, so far, just in my experience, I haven't seen too many people like that. So Cat, I just think he has a different understanding on how to break the internet, which is why yeah. every time he comes back out, we like, oh, Cat, we forgot about you. How you wow. forget about me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you think? I don't think I don't see nobody time. It's gonna like I said, it's gonna have to take some catastrophic stuff to happen, like some like some out the blue to just happen, like basically like he did because nobody was expecting that. Like they seen when he put um. That he was gonna do the interview with Cat Williams, and everybody like, damn, I wonder what Cat finna talk about. Then he got on there, it was like, damn. Mm. Like within 10 minutes of the live, because it was a, it, they dropped it live on YouTube, like it was already clips all over the blogs. Wow. I mean, you know, shout out to Cat Williams. You know, Boosie already had been campaigning for him because when he went to Boosie's or city or when Boosie went to his show, he ended up giving Boosie fifteen okay, yeah. fifteen thousand mm -hmm. yeah. dollars. And I think that was something that that Boosie will never forget. He had just made mention of it here again, mm -hmm. here recently mm -hmm. before this interview came out. So yeah. it kind of landed in a place to where... The universe be putting it out there. Yeah, putting, yeah. Putting they it, pushed it yeah, on out there, man. You know, uh, one of the key things that he said was that, and I don't know, I, if, I don't know if this was real, I don't know if this was capped. Um, I'd like to see the contract, but he said that Ricky Smiley... Uh, in order for him to do another uh, movie with Ricky Smiley that he was going to have to put on a dress. Yeah. And he put that in contract because of the way that he was acting and carrying on on the Friday after next. Mm -hmm. Do you think this was cap or do you think he really had a contract saying that he could get this band to wear a dress in the next show because that dress more appeals to him than him being in a pair of pants? Um, I mean, I mean, when you're dealing with something like this, you got to deal with facts and like, the only thing we got to show to prove it is he was in the dress. <laughs> like it ain't nothing else. Like I mean, what else have he been 300, in? Draw three hundred. Do you agree with that? I mean, <laughs> this is an open panel, yeah. so hey, we just talking, yeah. man. I mean, I mean, what else? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. Let me say what I. I Cat Williams is smart. Yeah, definitely, definitely. He is definitely. he pre thinking this conversation before he go there. He watched mm -hmm. every episode. He brought up everybody. He's well calculated. He is yeah. not nobody he to play homework. with. It don't take nothing away from him. Ice Cube came out and said, Hey man, you know, you did right, you know, certain things 
But and he also stuck, came out and said, "Hey man, but we wasn't for to put no rape scene yeah, in there." That. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But I know my boy. Yeah. Cat is not for to play with him. He yeah. for to let him have it. He. Uh, I'm gonna put this knife in him. He shouldn't have never went up there and even spoke on my name. It's like with the jokes. All the jokes that he said they stole. Like you yeah. can go back his footage of him. I was like, damn, I ain't. Yeah, now the jokes that. lined up, but yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but it's the same thing. Like in certain people that you see, you know, how much truth is in it? How much is real? How much is not? Did you see when he was talking about Ludacris? Ludacris did a rap against him. I was I, that threw me because we ain't heard Ludacris rap in mm. umpteen years. I mm. think the last song I heard him on was with a uh, uh, beat king. Oh, he just dissed him. Yeah, he did a little song, a little jing- he 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 did a jingle. He kind of responded. Jingle. He said, he, said uh, uh, he did something about the comedians in their feelings. He said a jingle. Uh, it was. I didn't even peep that. <laughs> you didn't see it? Nah, I just peeped it. Cat Williams was like something about. Uh, it was some big deal that went on where he had to do where Ludacris got 10 shows and $200 million or something like that if wow. he did something. Wow. It was something like that. He I can't was in remember. the Fast and Furious. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. It all well, you know, but at the end of the day, guys, that's just part of what, that's it. That's what we, that's the world we live in, guys. Yeah. The world we live in says whatever you say negative is going to, Regardless. It's gonna go up, mm-hmm. but what you say positive, niggas ain't really want. They cool with it. But you don't your little nice shit. songs or your little nice rap, it only gonna go so far. You got to, you got my booty hole brown. Yeah, you got to give me something that gonna make me think. Oh, you I ain't know, gonna lie, I like shock, sexy red treat, though. Shock, sexy red lips. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to shock these people now. Yeah. How you gonna shock these people, Delicia? We gonna figure it out. You see what I'm saying? You got to shock yeah, these people now. This ain't the same as it used to be. Mm-hmm. They want to see what's the next thing can get them high. See, uh, RB, take me to the next he- level. RB a little different though. Yeah, I don't know. A little different. I don't know. It, it is I, all the great R&B like Key Sweat and all them. Man. Like none of them. None see, of them. We don't even have to go back that far. Yeah, we like, just talk. Right now, yeah, like, it ain't oh, no girl, the one that sung that song, she was like, uh, so I'm gonna walk about the most public about, one. Why she say, about, about, I'll do this with you, I'll hide a body for you. Come on, my nigga, this is not this yeah, see, is, yeah. this is shock. shock value. That's how we shock, right there. Yeah, but it's more, yeah, it's more the same yeah. thing. Yeah, once it's I finally fact. figured out what she's saying, I'm like, yeah. what? Yeah. Oh, That's how we gonna, shop. We shop for music. She gon' have a body yeah. for the nigga. Hey, she down. That was hard. Though. <laughs> you see, but I'm, I get it. But I didn't never know that part. But yeah. I got. I got didn't never mm-hmm. think about Coco that. Did you Jones, at first? Harlem. You must have listened to it. I'm a, I'm a songwriter. Yeah, but I did listen you listen to it? I'm talking when it first you heard the song. Yeah, you knew that that what she was saying. Yeah, then you young niggas is crazy, man. I touched that five feet. Ain't no way in hell, no nigga. I touched that five feet. What the hell is going on? Yeah, you gotta listen to it. She just make it relatable. You know, but that's shockwave and shock value for. R&B though Yeah wow. and it's different It's completely yeah. different It ain't completely different it's To me it's the same thing but, yeah. You getting attention it's a different way yeah. But like you, I don't really see nobody Like man I seen a dude The other day With a whole half His jaw was cut off mm-hmm. And he was live Talking on, on the phone You ain't gonna see No R&B people Doing that like that man Like You never know These niggas doing the everything far as I seen R&B people Got these things. niggas wives Girlfriends Putting it on yeah. the internet Blowing up with it So you can't tell me They ain't doing the same thing These niggas is going All out for this internet yeah. This internet uh, got niggas doing everything. But Usher is Usher. You think he Usher intentionally wasn't doing, doing that before? You think he intentionally doing that? To make hell it yeah, money? hell At yeah. Point, Anytime yeah. you start in, in injecting something into that internet and you know the process and you know that it's generating you revenue, blue face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Christian Rock, you know you getting, you know you you gonna make some money off of that, bro. You don't want niggas to stop talking about you if you smart. Yeah. You want niggas to talk. Mm-hmm. Right, so so you gonna make show that I'm gonna give you niggas a show. You can be classy with it too, though. Well, you can you can be classy with it, but at the end, Beyonce last time Beyonce did something like that. Really, nigga, Beyonce ain't, niggas ain't checking for it like they checking for these niggas. These young, oh, these young niggas. See, Come on see, but the they ain't got to check for it. Push. She already, she already did it. Got it. And that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm telling you now, the new girl is hiding bodies. Yeah. New world, <laughs> new world order. You know what I'm saying? It's a new world order. Yeah. So, all right, so Boosie say, throw me a pussy on, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Listen, niggas going crazy with it. They yeah. not playing. Right. So, yeah. so we got to figure out how can we inject something in there without doing all that too. It got to right. be a way. Once a nigga find that way, he going to be fly too. Mm-hmm. Am I right? Yeah. So, man, I, like I said, I, I, I listen to your music, man. Uh, 
I seen you in the barbershop. You cut hair. Yeah, I cut hair. So you think you can cut? I know. I wasn't yeah, letting like you cut man. my hair. You ain't even got no hair. Cause let's turn around. Hey, yeah, you do. Oh, oh, oh I really was gonna come it. down here braid it up. You know what I'm saying on my <laughs> pimp shit, but I ain't gonna do too much. No, I ain't gonna do too much. So, so you you grew up in what part of East Texas? Carthage. Man, you ain't bulldogs. You know how old man? are you again? Twenty four. Well, you probably knew my little cousin, man. He from down there. You know, Nito's son from down there. He mm. died here recently. Uh, 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 Kevin Smith. He died. You were you were young. He, you 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 too young. You wouldn't yeah. have remembered him. Uh, but yeah, he wasn't across the tracks though, nigga. Yeah, don't play, nigga. I know about them tracks. I used to hustle across the tracks. Yeah, I stayed across the tracks. No, I hustled over there when you before oh, yeah. you were even born, nigga. You know, you know what people I'm saying? around that way. Yeah, everybody, people. You probably not gonna know though. Because How old are you? No, no, no. I'm older than you. Do you some oh, of them he didn't want to say he. he, he yeah, I, I don't mind him. telling my age, but I'm just saying they older. They they gonna be like your grandpa or daddy age. You know what I'm saying? saying? My daddy no age, like yeah. It's a. It, I we're my talking about. Just, yeah, I don't want to put nobody. I, yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, put yeah, nobody yeah, business. Yeah. It's some niggas yeah. still in the streets over there that yeah. I know. So I can't be on here yeah. just hey man, you know such and such. You know they gonna know. I can't link. I got out the game. Yeah, yeah. But them niggas still, they still got that sack. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's still, it's still going down. <laughs> so, let's talk about it. Like, like, so you in Tyler, you off the loop? No, I'm not in Tyler right now. No, no, when you, where you lived at uh, down there? I lived, yeah. Off Since the loop. Grandma lived right across. There it is. That damn gentry. You off gentry. <laughs> where you at? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't live down gentry. I can't <laughs> like, how hard is it for an East Texas artist to get recognition? For what, uh, like? I like think it's different for a different, different like, I think for a rapper it's different and an R&B singer is different. Like it's okay, different both explain. Them. People want to hear that. Like, with a with an R&B singer, man, like, kind of sometimes, it's talent separates you in R&B. Like, you can't, you can't, you can only fake for so long with the singing and stuff. Like, in rap, you can cap forever. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You can yeah. kind of rap. If you if you can rap, you can rap. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you, and you capping in it, nobody never forget. But if singing, if you can't sing, you acting like you can sing, it's going to eventually show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. If you can't, and I if, you said what? If you if, if you can't sing, I sand man you. Y'all don't know nothing about that. He know what I'm talking yeah, about. I, I sand man you. Yeah. You know what I mean? That means get, get your up off stage, <laughs> get yeah. your boo you on up out of there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I done had some people to choke on here. Yeah, yeah, man. I, think well, I, could, I didn't put it out. Yeah, I, I don't, yeah. I don't do people like that. He would have put it out. This nigga here dirty. Oh my He'd God. have put it out. You remember how that 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 Webby, when he came out, Charlemagne goes, "Oh, you, you couldn't." Yeah, yeah. See, it's certain people you don't go on their show. <laughs> yeah. They ain't talking about Mayweather can't read. Charlemagne McGee. Yeah, yeah, there you go. All that. See, people put stuff out yeah. like that. Yeah. I didn't see stuff that other podcasters and radio people put out mm. that they didn't have to that were behind the scene that I would never put out on Boss Talk 101 yeah. because it's some dirty nigga and I'm not talking about you I'm just making an example it's some oh, yeah, folks yeah. out here put some stuff out to get you oh, yeah. got, get you killed you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying real talk That's hard for that. but I'm just telling you there's some people out here at the same here. time do you feel as though some people know that they shouldn't say nothing on, on the camera that they came back I've had people to come up here and talk about their case, bro, and I have to take it that. off, bro. I definitely feel that. I, you know, I, I've, had, I've yeah. had people to do that. Mm -hmm. That's why I said, they, then, that's why the age, like, that's what the age, like, that's why they said, oh, rappers, you know, they be trying to say rappers be old and they can't do it, but, like, I don't see an age limit on R&B, really. Huh? Like, they don't they don't put an uh, age limit on R&B. Like, a person can sing R&B forever. Yeah. You can be 70 years old still singing baby making music. You can rap forever if you got something to Yeah, if you're talking yeah, about it. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. I think when they be saying old rappers, I think it's like, it's depending on what you're talking about. It's like, the, because a, old per, a person that's older can rap. You know what I'm saying? If he talking about something that's worth listening to. I just got off the phone this morning with BG and them people, right? Yeah. A lot of niggas say if BG, I was talking to Rainwater on here, Rainwater said if BG come to South by Southwest, he really wouldn't, they wouldn't really know who he is. And I beg the damn difference. Yeah. Uh, you see what I mean? Yeah, they gonna know BG. <laughs> People gonna know BG. <laughs> These niggas is tripping. Yeah, they gonna they know say that the old niggas should not rap. That's one of Rainwater's main thing when he come on here, we argue about. And I say, look, man, they have a fan base. That shit is yeah, that situation. That's just that that like saying Key yeah. Sweat shouldn't yeah, sing. Yeah, yeah, when exactly. that nigga come to that mm -hmm. damn no key or, or theater or whatever, yeah, that, that whole pack. Yeah. I think the problem is they stop rapping because they think that they're not supposed yeah, to. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Because they like listen to the people. Your singing. age group that you attracted is going to get older just like you are. Yeah, that's right. They want to keep listening to you, but I think they just... People get... Yeah. They listen to the negative all the time and get discouraged. Because I'm telling you, man... 
Like they always say, two chains. He, uh, they say he signed when he was old and all that stuff. You know, then they, then they gonna bring up. They gonna say, well, he was with Ludacris already, or whatever. But it still, he didn't get his big shot until <laughs> till he went solo, mm. and he was older then. Mm -hmm. It's like if you if you able to stand the test of time with it too. Really, that's a lot of. Hold on. So, man, like like you say, you got a, a new EP or what? What do you yeah, have coming? Absolutely. Um, I have an EP that's already out. I am. Looking to drop at the end of this year, but I do have an EP called Monday Morning. Already, and it's, it's feels for sure. Wow, that's dope. That's dope. That's like all the way live. Real good music, like the real good good sex music. You gonna feel it. Sex music is yeah, that what we doing? It's R and B. It's R and B, like the it's real R and B, it's, like it's SWV R and B, R and B, SWV, Janet uh, Jackson, uh, Jamie Foxx, uh, R Kelly, all in one. It's R and B. Boy, that, that, that just pulled you in. Now you feel my world. You like this nigga is it, going down in his head. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, like I just, you know, one thing I can say, man, is um, just to see you. You know what I mean? Working to feel the refreshing R and B sound still, because you, you, you really like you're a minority right now in this world we live in. And she did shows with like uh, Anthony Hamilton. You did. Eyes the brothers. You did the Isla, bro. We got SWV coming up. That's live. They follow me on Instagram. We got Sweat coming up. That's hard. We got Dina Howard, Case Link. I ain't even know Dina Howard. She's still freaking freaky on the stage. She do her thing. Not at this time. She And she look amazing. It still look amazing. Still. Man, I got to look up a Dina Howard. I used to be looking at her covers when she used to have them cassette covers. Four out three. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, my God. God dang, they showed the whole body on that thing. amazing. Really, she, and she and has she something to say. Can sing. Really can the sing. The mic be on. Wow, and she one of your favorite one. Who's your favorite? Uh, oh, my favorite right now. I'm gonna say Janet right now. Janet Jackson. Yes. Why? Just, anytime, any place. It go it's, real smooth. It's don't so it? smooth. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, smooth. Yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of these girls they whispering on the songs. Yeah. Even in rap, <laughs> it is yeah. whispering. So, so what about you, man? When it comes to artists, rap artists, yeah. who is the hardest right now for you? Who the hardest for me? I like them boys out of Memphis right now. I ain't gonna lie. Who? Uh, Bezel Boy Black, Big Homie G. Uh, it's just, it's just they vibe, they feel that soul in their music. I just like that music. Yeah. You got Jar three hundred and and and. Delisha J up mm -hmm. in the building, man. How did you end up thinking that you, you know, basically thought they were the best? Because we've asked you time and time again to bring East Texas people up here. Yeah. And we've told you that the only way that they can get on Boss Talk is if you bring them through here. Mm -hmm. And you do a, uh, a a hell of a page. Trill Talk No Pill Talk is a great page where you show all the talent coming out of Texas, East Texas, Houston, mm -hmm. man, Pow Wow and Kiki and all of them be on your page. Why is it that you're not bringing East Texas artists up here? I, Some I of them ain't ready. That. Some of them just ain't ready. I, don't, they gotta, I gotta feel like they're ready. Wow. Y'all heard that. So if, if, if anybody in my inbox, get in Trill if Talk. If you like to take breaks, don't come this way. Yeah. <laughs> Trill Talk, no Pill Talk will be the guy to really rock with and just just uh, let him know, you know, because Boss Talk, we welcome y'all. We want everybody. But it's up to Trill Talk, no Pill Talk to, to, to make That's it really out. a scapegoat. No. <laughs> right. So, uh, man, so uh, is it Jar 300? Jar 300. Jar 300, man, they tell me you got flow. Now, we had a few people on here that say they can rap, right? Yeah, yeah. It's been a few of them that come on here, and when they come, um, some, of them, some of them, they can rap. Some of them, they, they rap, and then they stop. Never uh, hear from them again. Never hear from yeah. them. They don't put no projects out yeah. after they leave. Yeah. I mean, what... You love this. Yeah, do I you like plan it. to do this? How, uh, are you trying to make this out of something to take to the top, top, or are you just doing this for recreation? I'm doing this because I like to make music, and it all tie in with my brand, like the Worldwide Hustle brand. Like, it's just another outlet to spread that. Like, I got the clothes. I'm trying to do drinks. Uh, I got my rap. I got my barber. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to just do a whole bunch of different stuff and. Rapping to keep me relevant, you know, and I can push my brand through that, get to the masses of the people. Well, let's get to it then. I mean, I can drop something now if you yeah. feel like you're ready, and, and, and we can see if you can bring it. You I know, because a lot of people say, I can rap, and you hear them, and 
Next yeah. thing you know, they fall off. Yeah. I pop, 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 yeah. Next you thing you know, came. all I'm saying, <laughs> we finna see. Yeah, most definitely. We finna put you on the spot, man. Let's go, man. Right. Check it, man. Draw 300 is in the building. It about to go down. My boy, Jaw. <clears throat> 300 is in the building. Let's go. Boss Talk 101. It's going down. So when I get home, I'm beating that back open, them legs wide. Talking to me crazy, some I like me making up tonight. Let's go. I don't like that man, man, motion that's shit. it, man. Come on, man. Let it go, man. Let uh, that boy draw 300. He ain't hey. playing no games, man. Y'all yeah. heard the flow, man. This nigga don't miss. <laughs> He don't miss. So if you ain't if you ain't ready to rap, you better not come mess with y'all three hundred man. Yeah. I'm telling you, and you killed it on that Al D three hundred man. Appreciate Did it. Did you get that three hundred from his? What what the hell going on? See, my favorite number just three, and I be around a lot of threes, and it just stuck with me. Already, man. That's it just hard, stuck man. With me. I like that mm. beat. The sound was dope too. Yeah. Check it, man. Here we go again, man. It's going down, man. You know, like I said, I love doing this, man. This is what I do. Yeah. And, uh, I, I, hey, listen, we're going to win every time over here at Boss Talk. We're getting a little bit. Delisha J, man, this this, this, this is Delisha J you've been telling me about. Word yeah. me in my inbox telling me she nicks. Yeah. yeah. She better be right. Yeah. Come on now. This Boss Talk 101. Yeah. That's what we do. Where the bosses talk. Play the music. This is music. We're going to see what she got. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. We're going to vibe out, huh? Absolutely. Let's vibe out with Delisha J. Let's go. Cause I know you like to fight night. Drunk on the lowest shit. Fucking my brains up. Man, it's going down, man. You killed that, bro. So what you think about it? Man, I ain't going to lie to you, man. Ain't heard no good music like that in a while, man. <laughs> nah, That's good music, man. Like Kanye West Neil was saying. That's good music. Once you hear somebody that sound good and it's going down, man, you know. And you hear them sing it in person. Man, yeah. it's, that's hard, man. Like you ain't, yeah, yeah that's, all, that's all talent right there, man. No cap, man. That's real, bro. Man, thank you so much, man. Thank both of y'all, man, for coming Absolutely. on the show, man. Yeah. Like, beautiful thing, man. And, um, you know, I'm going to be looking for some more music at mm -hmm. all times. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you for bringing them up, man. Oh, yeah. You did oh, yeah. your thing on this one, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know where we go from here, you know. Oh, yeah. It's, it's up. It's up. It's up. Man, thank you so much, man. Listen, man. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah. Delicious. Jay, man, you one of the liveest, man. Thank you so much for coming no on the show, man. Uh, how can people get a hold of you if they're trying to get a hold of you? You can follow me on all social media sites. That's Delisha J. That's D E L I S H I A J. And make sure you go one check second. out the Monday morning EP. Already. And, and what about you? Uh, you can follow me, uh, Official Jar 300 on Instagram. Jar 300. Yeah. Already, Jaw 300 is in the building. And Trill Talk on Peel Talk, everybody know where to follow you at, nigga. Yeah, Trill Talk on Peel Talk, wherever you go. Wow, man. Thank you guys for coming on the show. Okay. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk.